Hello, this is Chris, and in this video, we're going to look at how to change the color of text on our website. Now, this will be again using uh, the Elementor Page Builder, which is what takes care of much of the style and design of most pages on our Quick Start websites. So let's start off with the basics. There's a simple way to just change the text that we see in front of us. And to do so, we've obviously need to open up the Elementor page builder. So click on this button up here, edit with Elementor. And now we have the interface open. And as we hover over different elements on the page, we see this edit button, or we could simply click uh, on, on the text itself. Uh, if we click on the edit button, it avoids something happening. Like if we click on a button to change the text, the button will actually work and we'll zoom down the page. So if we use the edit button, then that, that does mean that we won't uh, zoom down the page and activate an element. What we would like to do is change the color of text. So whether we click on the, this dual color heading or we click on this normal heading, and let's do that for an example, we're going to see the tabs open on our edit heading or edit element um, interface up on the left. So we click on the heading here and we have edit heading. Now we want to change the style. So if we click on the style tab and immediately we see text color and this color here obviously corresponds with uh, what we can see anyway. So we can click on the other moment. There's this globe that's highlighted. And what that means is that we have selected this heading to be colored by one of our global presets. Now we can set the global colors and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And I would advise that you use uh, set global colors for your branding. So your business will no doubt have a color related to its branding. And it's a good idea to set global colors and you can use that very easily across the site. So all you would do in order to do that is when you go to color an element, you would select on that globe and then select one of these and look at that. It just changes the color. So we've got this selection of colors uh, that are related to our branding. So that's how to set a global color uh, for an element. Uh, but if you fancy just going off the wall and changing the color, we click on the square and we've got this color picker available to us and we can just zoom around <laughs> and find whatever color of disco appeals to us at that time. So we can choose a different color. And then this one here is where we have uh, the opacity and we can set the opacity or the transparency you might think of it as. Uh, so should you wish to do that, you can do so. Hex colors here, uh, the, these tell the computer or Elementor how to color an item uh, with, with a code. And you can obtain these online if, if you want to Google hex colors or uh, nice hex colors for uh, red or something like that. Find the red that you like and you can copy the hex code and just paste it in there. So that's how to simply change the color of an element. You select the element, click on the uh, style tab, go to text color and click on the square and you can use the color picker to do so. If however, you'd like to use one of your preset global colors, you click on the globe and then select which one you would like it to uh, always link to. Now, the good thing about this is that everything that we've selected to be a particular color, if we go and change the global color itself, all of the different elements will change their color at the same time. So that saves us having to go along to select this heading and then go to the style tab and change the, the color. Um, it then saves us then having to go to another heading and do the same thing. Um, if we've selected all of our headings to be styled and colored by the global preset, then obviously, as soon as we change that global preset, um, that will change across the website. So very quickly, how do we do this? Well, we've opened Elementor and we want to go to the uh, hamburger menu up on the top left and we go to site settings, click on that. And immediately you can see we have global colors, click on global colors. And obviously this is what corresponds to what we saw in the editor primary. And so let's click on this red and should I change this to something like a blue or a teal is that you can see it changes the color of all of these elements. So all of these elements were previously told to or instructed, uh, to be colored by the global color that the primary global color. 
So once you've set those up, I would recommend that you get hex codes or, or play around until you've got colors that suit your brand. And then you can change the color site-wide uh, should you need to. So for example, if you've instructed all of your paragraphs to um, be colored by this text one here, and you realize that maybe you want a bit of contrast or a customer says, I just couldn't read it, it wasn't dark enough. You can just change it right across the website and, and you'll see that take effect. Okay, so that is how to uh, change the colors of text on your website. Uh, so simply uh, select an element, open it with Elementor, and then um, change, change it as you need to. So go to the Style tab and go to Color and Typography and find the color picker or link it up to one of your global preset colors. Okay, thanks so much. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.